The book I'm going to talk about is Kid Sheriff and the Terrible Toes, Toads by uh, Lane Smith. And uh, this book is about three brothers who, they're the Toad brothers, that commit crimes throughout the town. Drywater Gulch. And uh, so the story starts out with just a little bit of history about the Toad brothers who have been menaces throughout the town. And I didn't really think anything of the name Toad until I uh, read on in the story and then when the kid sheriff came in. So the kid sheriff came in riding on a tortoise, which is a reptile, and uh, he came riding in. It took him a long time, and I thought that was pretty funny throughout the how there's two pages where it was still him riding in on the tortoise because tortoise, cause obviously it'll take a long time. So he meets up with the mayor of the town and says, uh, I'm the new sheriff of your town. And the mayor says, how, what qualifies you to be a sheriff? Do you, uh, can you shoot an, uh, do you uh, know how to work a shooting iron? He says, no. Do you know any rope tricks? He says, no. Can you ride a horse? No. And, uh, he said, then what qualifies you to be a sheriff? And he said, I know a lot about dinosaurs. So the mayor simply says, uh, okay, welcome to the town, sheriff. So throughout the book, they're, uh, investigating various crime scenes. So the bank is broken into, and there's a scene where it just says, boom, where the wall of the bank is blown off. And, uh, the sheriff said, this, uh, is the work of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And the mayor says, or it could be dynamite. And he says, no, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then goes on to say that it's the largest predator of the Cretaceous, uh, period, which is, uh, teaching children facts without them even understanding it. So there's, there's a lot going on in this book. There's, uh, robberies, crime, and, uh, law enforcement along with ideas of paleontology, which is really cool to incorporate into a book. And um, coming into this prior, I didn't think that this was going to be a thing where they're going to have two different subjects, I'd say, uh, varying subjects combined into one. And uh, another thing that is cool about this book is just the different uh, facts that are just thrown out. So a lady says that her uh, stagecoach is being robbed. And the sheriff said, uh, this is by uh, Velociraptor. Because the Velociraptor got it uh, confused with a... To, uh, protoceratops which uh is another type of dinosaur and uh just throughout the book he's throwing out different names of dinosaurs and saying if they're herbivores carnivores or uh basically what they have so another thing is the mayor before saying that it was a toad said because the speed of work of a t-rex roger the stage coach and he said no simply because the arms of the t-rex are too small and it wouldn't be able to perform a task like this so what else i found interesting about this book is throughout the book the toads kind of get upset that the crimes are being given to dinosaurs and not to them themselves, which in the end you will see how uh, the book ends out is uh, the child almost tricks them into admitting to everything they did, and then he eventually puts them in jail, which uh, is what the town has been wanting the entire time. Like, there's one part in the book where uh, the toad brother asked, and who has been making fun of uh, the chili? and insulting people's chili is the Jerkosaurus Rex, and uh, the sheriff just says, no, it is a Stegosaurus, which is an herbivore, that only eats uh, plants, and if you whip it up a batch of vegetarian chili, then it'll put a shine to it. And this upsets the toads even more, so then they start admitting to crimes that they have done. And uh, he puts up signs all over the trees in the town saying uh, wanted Stegosaurus, T-Rex, Pegasaurus, all things like this that uh, he's saying that committed these crimes. And the toads say, no, this is wrong. We committed all of these crimes. So they go to the jail willingly and walk themselves into the jail cell and say, ha, see, we did all these crimes and uh, we're going to take credit for them. So the sheriff just locks the cell up for them and then walks out. And eventually the toads realize, oh, we just put ourselves in jail. Darn it. The whole town cheers and uh, the sheriff rides off on his Taurus, and is uh, gone for a while. So the mayor asks, why can't you stay around? We could use a good uh, paleontologist in the town. And the sheriff responds, I am not a paleontologist. I am a lawman, which uh, kind of counteracts what he said in the beginning of the book. And uh, it's just kind of a, a trickery book. And I feel like it could be confusing for students if you don't talk about it throughout the story and ask questions. So some of the stories or some of the questions I would ask my students is possibly, 
why why do you think he chose these dinosaurs for the particular crimes? Like why did he choose the T Rex for the massive hole in the bank wall? And hopefully my students will be able to come up with well they're the biggest predator in during the Creta Cretaceous period. So that is why they can just run through the wall because of how big they are, and it'll give them little facts and knowledge on a, on a T Rex. But uh, this book is is fun to read, and I often found myself like smiling and laughing while reading it just because of how uh, childish it is in a sense, but how it's well put together at the same time. And uh, I feel like an activity that I could do with my kids is is to have them uh, pick. A dinosaur any dinosaur they want and uh, look up facts on it and maybe even draw images and pictures illustrations of the dinosaur that they can share with the class so then we can learn a little bit more about the history of dinosaurs or even look up various criminals in uh, the Wild West that could have been in history and compare some of the crimes they did to the crimes in the book and see if the children could pick a dinosaur that like in the book could be used to claim uh, that the crime was not done by the criminals, it was done by a dinosaur instead. And this can get their creative minds flowing and get them to uh, think more in depth about two different subjects, uh, law and order and uh, criminals and uh, reptiles in the Cretaceous period and just different things like that. So it brings in science and sort of history at the same time, both of them working together, which is really good to do in books because you have two different viewpoints and ideas coming in at once. I also think the illustrations in this book are uh, very neat and children would take a liking to them because there is uh, they're not really they're kind of chopped up images and like block images I would say so it looks like they're kind of easier to make but in reality they're not and uh, they're intriguing to look at like there is one on a page where a toad brother opens up his coat and he has various objects in it that he stole so he is admitting that he took those items right in front of the sheriff and the sheriff realizes this and uh in a sense, it's showing that the kid is smarter and outwitting the older men that are doing these crimes, just because pride is a big issue for the toads. And that's another thing I could uh, talk about with my class, is you can't let pride overcome you because it can sometimes put you in bad situations that you didn't want to be in or think you would ever be in. So you could show, I could show the kids that maybe sometimes you have to let your pride go and just remain silent instead of voicing everything to protect yourself or to not come off as uh arrogant in a sense i would i would definitely use this book in my class just because of how fun it would be to uh work with and work through with the students and i feel like they would have a lot of fun in doing this so uh, the standards that i thought would work with this are uh, life science ls1a structure and function all organisms have external parts different animals use their body parts in different ways to see hear grasp objects protect themselves move from place to place and seek find and take in food water and air so i thought this would work just because it showed uh different ways the dinosaurs perform the crime so the the t-rex breaking through the wall because it's just so much bigger than every other dinosaur and it shows that its its physical traits are dominant compared to other ones and i thought that went with that standard along with that and then the second standard i got is key ideas and details 4R1, locate and refer to relevant details and evidence when explaining what a text says explicitly or implicitly and make logical inferences because throughout this book you have to try to interpret and pick apart different parts of the book to understand the story completely uh, because in a sense it is trying to catch criminals but it is teaching you about science at the same time. So I thought that would be a good standard to go along with it. Thank you.